What's up, YouTube? Hey, everybody. We totally need like a, a channel name. Like an so intro we, video or something. You no, know, we need like a name for this channel so we can say, hey, like Torres Clan. Or... Torres Clan? Oh, okay, no, no. But not that. Not it's 20, that. It's 2018. Like, not that. Nothing with the clan. <laughs> no. And no clans in this house at all. No, but you know what I'm saying. Something. House party of five. Instead of just saying, hey, Tea party YouTube. of five. Oh, see, I said tea party of five. Yeah, no, not, not that either. <laughs> So no, 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 we're, uh, we're, we're, we're really happy that. to be able to talk to you guys today. Um, we wanted to jump on and do a quick video for you about um, a subject that we heard about on Sunday mm -hmm. from Dr. Rice Brooks, who is the author of God's Not Dead. He was preaching on James 1, and it just reminded us, Gabe and me, of the importance of some of the lessons that we've learned in 2018. Mm -hmm. So... Through 2018, though it has been tough in a lot of ways. Uh, that's putting it mildly, but yeah. uh, <laughs> it's for been real, for tough, real. like for real, for inconveniencing. Real. It's been <laughs> so. It's been slightly inconvenient. No. Yeah, slightly. But um, through 2018, even though it's been tough, there's been really fantastic things that have happened, like yeah. the birth of our baby boys. Oh, wonderful! And being surprised with twins. That was. An amazing surprise. Like, that was... Yeah. I, I don't know. I still relive that moment sometimes. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So that was good. Yeah. Um, and just a lot of great things. But there have also been a lot of lessons learned. And often, we don't learn lessons through positive things. Yeah. Uh, not, not in the same way. We really learn lessons through negative things. In the desert. Um, and through things that seem like they're not good. Like mm. trials tests and tribulations yeah. and um so what we wanted to talk to you about today and here's our little ayacita what are you doing mama she's like you know just uh hopping just, up and just down just hopping up things. and down and messing up your recordings <laughs> do you want to come up okay. so we just wanted to talk to you guys about perseverance um in james 1 2 through 4 it says consider pure joy my brothers when you face trials i think yeah when you, wherever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. So let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that means that there's going to be trials yeah. and tests and Definitely. tribulations and things are going to get tough. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And, those, and it's in those moments where oh, yeah. it's like character really gets built mm -hmm. at a... Uh, Please stop. Okay, we have to take a little break. <laughs> we have to take a little get the babies break. It's like time out, time together. out, time out. Uh, but you were talking about character. Oh, right. Yeah, character. That's really what this year has brought. Is I really just feel like God has done such an amazing, strong building of character in myself in Danielle in our marriage in our just in our everyday life really just in every area I really feel like God has really strengthened us and it's all been through this season of perseverance like and throughout this whole season throughout this whole time all we have known how to do is wow God I don't really understand this but I trust you Lord we got nothing I don't know how I don't have the answers to this I don't have the answer to a b and c uh, but I trust you but I trust you and so and just throughout that process, I really just feel like there's been an added dose of strength, an added dose of a, of, a, of a character as we have persevered. And so it's really an extraordinary thing when the strength of the Lord comes upon you and then he adds those things to you. So. Yeah. And so for you all, if you're going through a season where you're having to persevere, and, and it may be a really long season, I know there are a ton of people like us that mm -hmm. feel like, it's a never-ending waiting season, a never-ending trying to keep the hope, keep the faith, keep persevering, keep enduring through trial. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, if that's you, then just know that the character mm. that he's talking about, that God is building in you, yeah. is more valuable, actually, than whatever it is that you're praying for. That's right. So, for instance, um, there was a season where I was, I think it was 2012, where I was praying for a husband. And hey. no, okay. <laughs> yeah, shout out and to 2012. Praying for a husband <laughs> and like, but it was in the in the praying and in the endurance. Mm -hmm. That's what got me prepared yeah. to be married. Absolutely. And it's what like before 2012, I didn't even think 
about having kids. I didn't even want kids. I didn't think that I would be the type of woman that could be ambitious and mm. and be selfless enough to have kids in that. Mm. And it's something that God built in me wow. during the endurance part mm. and the in the persevering. Yeah. So and for me, in 2012, I was crying constantly because I was like, where's my wife? Where are my kids? <laughs> but it really wasn't until, even in that area, I'm like, you know, God, in order to persevere through this, I haven't even begun to persevere, but you know, God, I'm going to trust you. And it was very uncomfortable. It was very difficult. And, uh, but I just chose to really just put that in God's hands, even though I knew it was a promise. I knew it was a promise of, of children. God already spoke that. And my wife. And I was like, man, I don't understand. What, what am I doing wrong? But in that season... I never pursued a woman the right way because I never knew what the right way was. And so just the testing of that and the persevering, I persevered that in God's timing was absolutely perfect, man. And yeah, so it built your character yeah. in getting ready to pursue me the right way. Yeah. And it built my character in being able to be a wife mm -hmm. and a mother. And to be ready for everything God had for us in the season. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> it's snotty nose. So, um... Yeah, so what we want to encourage you guys in is when you're going through tests, when you're going through trials, even the long ones, even the ones that seem like a never-ending season, yeah. to count it pure joy. The Bible doesn't joy, say man. joy, right. it says pure joy. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was reading this podcast today that was talking about how when we have an immediate feeling of uh, gratification or something mm -hmm. good happens, we're more than likely to repeat that, to get yeah. that same immediate feeling. Mm -hmm. So with the Lord, the things that we are asking him for are not immediate gratification. No, they're not. <laughs> but you know what is immediate gratification is counting pure something pure joy mm -hmm. and having a heart of thankfulness and gratefulness. So when you're going through that trial, you say immediate gratification. I'm going to count it pure joy right mm -hmm. now. I don't have to wait until I get the thing that I'm praying for. Mm -hmm. I can be filled with joy right now. Mm -hmm. And because of that joy, you are more likely to withstand that trial and continue to persevere without trying to control it and without trying to control it and yanking yourself out of that difficult situation. Yes, yes. And to add to that, when God says something, like if he promised you that job you're believing for, the wife, the husband, the children, and you believe in that for it, count it pure joy because whatever the Lord says, and when he says it, that word cannot return to him. It will not return void. It will have to accomplish everything he said it would do. It has to accomplish everything that he said it would do. We're back and we have a guest. <laughs> no, what I was saying was, it will, the word that God said, whatever you're believing him for, it cannot return back to the Lord. Really. It will accomplish. He says it has to accomplish everything that he, it, that he said that it will do. It will accomplish that which he said. Wow. It will do. Yeah. It will accomplish everything that he said it will do. It has to accomplish it. So Yeah, it's like Isaiah 56 or something. It's like somewhere between Isaiah 56 and 57. Yeah, it's somewhere so between Genesis. Go check it out. Between Genesis and Revelation. <laughs> right in the middle of there, it's the word of the Lord. We'll pop it up it's on the It's for you. It's for you. Between, just between them two. If you went to Philippians, oh you went to, you're too far. Anyway. So yeah, for 2019, here's what we're praying for you. We're praying that everything that you're asking the Lord for will come to pass. Mm -hmm. Not all at once, because that doesn't do anybody any good to get everything no. right away, right. Right? right? But we are believing that it will be a change of season for yes. you, and that you will begin to receive some of those promises of God. Mm -hmm. So if that's you, I just want to encourage you, if you want prayer, go ahead and leave it in the comments, or maybe just tell us what it is that yeah. you're waiting for, Please. or persevering for, or persevering in the midst of, if you need a healing, or... You know, you're just waiting for your Anything. family, whatever, Anything, whatever, whatever it, is. it is. You just whatever need more uh, money in your bank account. Hallelujah. But why did you do this, though? I don't know. Because I need more money <laughs> in Lord, my I'm bank giving, account. Lord, I'm giving my tithes this morning. I'm giving my tithes this morning, guys. Yeah. What's that, 10%? 10%? Yeah. Make it rain, Jesus. <laughs> no, make stop, it, make stop, it stop, rain, stop. Jesus. No, okay, we probably won't put Get that on the video. Get on the No, it's okay. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Uh, yeah, so whatever it is, we're standing with you, believing for you, and, yes. you know, believing that 2019 is going to be an amazing it's year. the year. So don't give up. Don't persevere, give up. and not only persevere.
persevere. Learn the lessons of 2018 Amen. by counting it pure joy and knowing that it is making you mature and complete so that yeah. going into 2019, you're not going to lack anything. Amen. Yeah. I mean, and, and once again, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter how difficult or how impossible it may seem to not stop believing do not stop trusting that god is going to bring it to full fruition he's gonna he's gonna bring it because he promised that he would once god says something it has oh it's to already been brought it's already been, yeah yeah that movie reference i know that yes. no but no matter what it is no matter how long it takes no matter how hard it is just believe god he's gonna see us through man so, that's right so yeah. If you like the video or if it um, if it helped you out a little bit, gave you the ability to go another day, please share it with your friends, Amen. throw us a like um, or a comment, like I said, because we really do want to know what's going on in your life so we can stand with you. Yes, yes. Love you guys. Have a great day. Have a great one.